There seems to be no end in sight to the fighting around the Syrian capital, Damascus. And one of the focal points of these clashes is the Yarmouk Palestinian refugee camp, which has been under insurgent control for over a year. Now, Palestinian volunteers, along with Palestinian resistant factions, are working to regain control of this camp. Our correspondent, Allah Ibrahim, reports from Damascus. Into the newly cleared areas of Al Yarmouk camp, we enter through roads that were once haunted by snipers and where running was the only way in and out of the devastated camp. Palestinian fighters, mainly from the Popular Front to liberate Palestine, have recently managed to advance and clear several blocks, taking it back from the insurgents. We're standing inside Al Yarmouk camp with the Palestinian faction that is trying to liberate the camp from uh, the insurgents, the foreign-backed insurgents. You can see behind me the destruction that the intense fighting has left on this camp. As we go into the buildings, we see writings and logos that insurgents left here, vowing to enter Damascus and take it. As we go deeper, in what was the insurgents' main command and control center in Al Yarmouk, we see other but more deadly marks of the militants explosive devices and grenades. Moreover, we can see the route the insurgents took while leaving the scene through tunnels. We're standing in a house in a remote camp where a Palestinian militiamen are telling us that this is the entrance of a tunnel that was used by the insurgents to try and override uh, the Palestinian fighters' attempt to uh, liberate Al Yarmouk camp. This tunnel stretched for over 200 meters underground and it went all the way to a region square inside Al Yarmouk camp. Uh, the, also, the fighters, the Palestinian fighters, told us that uh, insurgents have filled uh, this tunnel with chlorine and other uh, materials that would be used in case uh, the Palestinian fighters used this tunnel to uh, attack the insurgents. We go on with our trip and move towards a region square that many think will be the turning point for the battle of the camp. Palestinian fighters have been advancing towards this bivotal square from different directions, and now they are within meters from it. We are standing precisely opposite the al Regia square and we control it using firepower. Any detected movement, we deal with it. The fight in Yarmouk isn't easy, as the difficult terrain creates a daily challenge with guerrillas moving towards houses that have been completely altered by the other side's fortifications. This is because opposition fighters had over a year in which to fortify their positions digging tunnels and changing every building into a trap. God willing, we are 15 meters away from Al Riga Square and we are advancing. Soon we will control it. We are in a very tight spot because of how close the buildings are to each other. As we advance, the streets will be wider and we can gain more ground. The main insurgent faction fighting in El Yermuk calls itself Ibn Taymiyyah Battalion and comprises mainly of foreign fighters with good combat expertise. That is according to sources inside the Palestinian resistance factions. The question which remains now is when will the fighting end and what will be the cost? Allah Abraham, Press TV, Damascus.